Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Europa News House for Mara Nostrums playing as Sakalava or aka Madagascar. Where we last left off we helped our buddy, our new buddy, Adran, defend against uh, this pathetic uh, sack crap or sangli over here. So uh, yeah, that's great and uh, Ethiopia is looking pretty threatening, I must, uh, must be honest. So yeah, hopefully uh, he will not uh, destroy uh, us. Oh, he's also allied with the Mamlux and Oman. Alright. Well, uh, <laughs> good luck to you, uh, Makuria. You will probably survive uh, for a whole long, uh, whole long time. But uh, no, I think uh, he's absolutely going to get wrecked. Let's uh, decrease maintenance on our fleet again. And let's uh, just wait one till until we have enough points uh, to actually get our first colonist. There we go, our first colonist. Native policy, what do we want to, to do? Coexist. I think we want to coexist. That way we don't have to send our troops over all the all the damn time. It'd be really nice. Yeah, what should we do? There's no way we can claim uh, these dudes over here. So uh, that's out of the question. So yeah, the only thing we can do right now is uh, this province over here, but it's kind of dangerous with uh, Kiwa and stuff. So uh, I may want to pass on that for a while. But no, well, maybe we just want to do it. Maybe. Just let's could just go for it. It's the worst that can happen. Hmm. Naguni is South African culture. Is it new? They won't become our culture. I don't know. It'll probably be pretty interesting to see what happens. Oh, if we're not losing our fleet, we might as well turn down the maintenance. But uh, may even want to. Uh, kick out our advisor yeah we probably should at least we're now making some money honorable people few in the country F few are the countries in the world who do not claim to value honor and justice but even fewer are the countries who actually live up to these ideals however the lack of large scale and everyday corruption in Sakalava has made one of these rare places where principalities matter over personal gains even abroad Sakalava express Expatriates, expatriates, I don't know, are sought after for positions of trust as our people are known for adherence to duty and rejecting attempting bribes. Who else can claim to live up to these ideals? Well, no one apparently. But yeah, I think it's the second time uh, I've got this event and the first time I've actually took uh, the time to read it. So, uh, yay. So our colony is going pretty slow. 10 per year. Settle chance of 14 each month. Probably take a whole while for us to actually uh, start to really do something with colonization. But yeah, fairly soon we can go actually go and... Uh, already seeming great. But uh, then we can go to Cape. The Cape in South Africa over here. That's a very high base tax province I think. So... Uh, that would be great. Oh, Mutap and Separatists. Hopefully Kiwa will get wrecked. Did, did convert one province though. Pretty nice job. Oh, there were two rebel stacks. I bet he destroyed one. Alright. But yeah, I don't know how to actually change uh, the new colonies to your own culture. Maybe you can't even do that anymore. Would be pretty interesting. Mombasa Adrian again. The AI is sometimes so stupid. I mean, Adrian, what what did you what did you expect to gain from fucking allying the dudes again who just got destroyed like ten years ago as one province left and you lost ex the exact same war a few years ago? What the hell did you expect to gain from this? <laughs> I mean, jeez, the AI is fucking stupid sometimes. Truce with Mombasa is over. Whoa, great. He, he will be gone in like five seconds, so it uh, doesn't matter anymore. Amazing. The AI is sometimes amazing. Yeah, I know the AI a lot of times uh, kind of allies smaller nations, especially it's especially great if you're the player and you're one like a one province miner, you can ally friends or something. But still, sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, player, player, player friends would never tr attempt something st as stupid as that. I'm, f I'm sure of it. 
Maybe we can start to create trade conflicts and actually break the lines between these two nations. It would be it would be great. Would uh, you would his allies join? Well, one of his allies would, the other one won't. Maybe Kiwa will have will have some war exhaustion soon. Yeah, maybe it's not even in time. Uh, no, we already finished the war. Oh, it was also Melindy's war. Oh, huh. didn't uh, didn't even notice. We still have our lines, so uh, they didn't force uh, Adrian to break it with us. So that's good. And yeah, Melindy, I I'm I'm sure they can't stay allies with our with Kilwa. I think. I mean, they've claims. Uh, Kilwa has a claim on them. And yeah, they they share the same trade node. He has an import center of trade, and uh, the Mamluks joined also. No, well, we can't win this, so no really, no, no really point in enjoying that stupid war. The only reason I think uh, why uh, Kilwa isn't attacking us is because of uh, our friend uh, Moravi over here, which is also his ally. So uh, yeah, can better we can get our alliance back with uh, our friend. Uh, Mutapa, well, we may may want to do it. I mean, we can build up, up a we can build up a kind of a nice coalition against uh, our Kilwin enemies. Yeah, we're still waiting for a very slow colony. Yeah, also hopefully once uh, we actually go around the Cape we can uh, start uh, maybe conquering uh, countries like uh, Congo or something because they are also the same religion hopefully they're a little bit more fractured hopefully maybe uh, I'm completely wrong and Congo has conquered uh, everything in west in uh, the western part of uh, South Africa over here but uh, we can always hope so yeah we got our uh, idea so we need uh, true I think tr three barks should be enough to unmovable them and then once we get enough uh, diplo points we can actually recruit an explorer then we can start exploring uh, get the Cape at least that will give us something to do while we wait for our colony to finish but yeah it's going pretty slow but it should uh, should ki kind of go uh, a bit faster we lost all our claims. It's kind of too bad, but uh, we can't do anything with our claims right now, anyway. So yeah, well, he's pretty terrible, but uh, better than nothing, I guess. How do I actually repair these ships? Are they not automatically repaired anymore? Let's see. I have no idea. Maybe we need sailors. Fully reinforced needs 700 some, something sailors, okay. But, oh wait, we have our naval maintenance uh, on uh, zero. That's right. So now we should actually gain some more uh, morale over here. Let's see, uh, 13 decades, 10 prestige, influence. Uh, let's see, do we want them, them to gain influence? Yeah, why not? It's only a few ducats. Let's wait a little bit for before we start exploring. Might want to get all our uh, points uh, together. All our points, I mean... Uh, damn, my English today is uh, pretty bad. But uh, all our... Morale, uh, all our maintenance uh, completely up. Fully repaired ships. Otherwise, uh, I don't want to risk uh, sinking our ships. So, yeah, we should uh, go explore. And we uh, can only do the Western Indian Ocean. Okay. Don't know where that will take us, but uh, apparently some random waters. Yeah, I really want to explore uh, the Crozet Islands. But they're not even on the map, so. Uh, sure. The Marian Islands. Oh, tropical woods. That's nice. 
Is this actually colonizable now? Maybe. Then we can uh, colonize all the way down to South Africa. That would be really okay. It would be really nice. But yeah, is it just the culture that's down here? Yeah, Naguni. Naguni culture. Interesting. So hopefully we will, they will get accepted fairly soon. Okay, he's done with first exploration. Great. Where's the guy? Oh, here. Explore South Atlantic. Sounds great. Our colonial range is probably pretty, uh, pretty awful. So uh, we we are probably not uh, immediately able to reach uh, down there. Oh, we forgot to ally uh, Mutapa. Whoops. Damn, Adjuran got wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Not very pleasant, uh, pleasant war for you. Yeah, hopefully maybe uh, s sometime soon uh, Ethiopia will come and uh, kind of kick the shit out of Kilwa once they get through... Uh, through Kilwa over here. Um, let's see. Another exploration. Yeah, we may want to uh, explore the coast. Was eventually our goal at least. Let's see, are these uh, developments pretty good? 3-3-2. Three, three, well, they're not great. 15, we really need to get to the Cape. Exploration is finished. Great. Add uh, this. Uh, a few patches ago, I think they changed exploration uh, altogether that you now automatically go explore s certain regions, which is a really... Well, it, it is a nice change overall, I think. Because it uh, does make uh, managing your fleets a little bit, little bit easier, but it does take away a little bit of the mystery of uh, exploring new lands, having to plan your trip, and uh, what not. So uh, that's, that, that's, that kind of sucks, but uh, yeah, you gotta, gotta give something back. Yeah, you gotta trade something in for this uh, new easy feature. You can't have both. So yeah, let's see, uh, India's uh, Vijayanagar is growing pretty, pretty large. So uh, he's probably gonna dominate. Otherwise, Bamanis would probably already have uh, conquered most of the lands over here. Malindi is still allied to Kilwa, okay. It would be nice if we could get an alliance with Ethiopia, but uh, I don't think that is going to happen. But uh, maybe once we get a little bit bigger. Oh, three points. Well, goodbye money. Explore the coast of the Western Indian Ocean. So now we're probably going to... Explore all these. Oh, uh, 11 base tax province and another 11 base tax. Hmm, and the no religion islands. How great! Mahe is five. That's uh, it's not that great. Meanwhile, we can just uh, try to increase our uh, colonial range. Yeah, kind of racking up these nice uh, big provinces. Pretty great. 25 diplomats for aggressiveness. Well, it doesn't matter because uh, they won't revolt anyway, so aggressiveness doesn't matter. Can we send them to explore somewhere else? No, not not yet. Not yet. I think we need to, to kind of uh, colonize a little bit more land. We're almost there for the next level. Can I change my focus? I think in 91 or something it will, I could change it. July 58, there we go. Nice colonial range. Oh yeah, and immediately you can explore some more lands. Um, yeah, explore some more of the South Atlantic, why not? How far can we reach now? No colonists, no colonists. It's too far away. So, we could go for Il Bourbon. That's uh, supply limit plus 6, and it's nice terrain, coastline. 
So no negative penalties probably in this jungle which gives us uh, I thought it gives us neg negative penalties to growth. Yeah tropical minus ten minus five. So yeah, it may be a good idea to just go uh, colonize this province down here. And soon we will probably have enough money to actually uh, maintain two colonies at the same time. Military leaders died. Oh, it's expl our explorer. Hmm, hopefully he can make it back. Yeah, he's fine. So we'll probably have to get a new one. If we want to keep exploring. I mean, uh, we don't really need to explore all this shit now, right now, but, uh, well gives us to do while we wait for uh, for our peace to end. We could also just claim the Maldives over here. <laughs> that would be pretty entertaining. He has only five development. Then we can go <laughs> go into India because reasons. <laughs> no, I don't I'm not planning on going into India. Well not any not now anyway. Not that uh, this early. So yeah oh yeah we got a new uh, you explore. Explore. Oh wait, it's the wrong fleet. Where did that guy go? Oh, they're over there. Great. Explore. South Atlantic coast. The Europeans haven't arrived in uh, this part. This part of Africa yet. But uh, I'm not sure. Conquer Sofala. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Not solo. It's over here. Could also do that for the extra bonus, but uh, might as well keep the option open. Why not? Oh, it's already done. Yeah. Explore the Eastern Indian Ocean. Going to go over there, yeah. It's pretty great. Could also just go over here, get uh, the mission, and then uh, send the guy back uh, to this island and get the bonus anyway. If at least if that still works, would be pretty nice. Well, not a lot of uh, less frosty events, but uh, it's pretty useless. Are these two guys still allied? No, they're not. So yeah, Kilwa is once again uh, kind of friendless. Let's see, has he, does he have kind of good tech? Six. And Kilwa has six. And I have... He's five and I have six. I think. Yeah. We all have six. So maybe once we gain some more land. Then uh, it might be uh, time to actually go to conquer, conquer this stuff. But uh, yeah, we first have to increase our... Uh, Kind of our base text a little bit by conquer by uh, colonizing some of these nice islands, and I want to get to the Cape Colony before uh, the Europeans do. That way we can uh, kind of uh, get into the western part of Africa fairly easily. May we even uh, get uh, get friendly with Castile or something or Portugal? Would also be really nice. Let's see, explore some more stuff. Yeah. Going around to clo the globe isn't uh, that great. Incorruptible at size minus 25 spy network in Sakalava. Okay. So because of our low corruption, uh, the spy network decreased uh, of Kilwa. That's uh, that's nice. Yeah, settler chance still isn't that high, but uh, hopefully once we uh, actually get some uh, nice ideas, the next one plus 20% settler settler increase, uh, then we should be golden. And uh, soon we can f change our focus again, and our air is still pretty good. No, wait, he's not that great with diplo points. Damn, that kind of sucks. He's also pretty old. Already 40, so hopefully our next air won't be terrible. That would uh, be kind of a bummer. Whoa, 21%! Now we can finally uh, 
get a nice colony. Yeah, every month we regain one colony every time. And let's not spend that money. We're still making a uh, making a uh, positive income. So I'm not uh, not ready to that kind of stuff yet. But uh, maybe we can now do religious ideas. That should be fine. Or maybe we can do actually do. Uh, which is called uh, expansion ideas. Yeah, let's do that. Gain another colonist. Not that we can afford one at the moment, but uh, hopefully uh, fairly soon. And meanwhile, while we're getting a lot of admin points, it's not maybe not that bad of an idea to kind of invest already in that idea group. No, I don't want uh, our colony to lose all its settlers. Would be bad. Wait, I took a loan and then I was positive again. Oh well, thanks game for wasting my ducats. Maybe I should have waited uh, a month uh, before taking that event because it uh, took me negative, I think. Yeah, kind of waste money. Oh well. So, oh, he's already back from his uh, journey. Can he explore something else? No, he cannot. You can see Indonesia over here. I think it's Pasai, the red one. But uh, yeah, I will have to uh, finish it up to here today. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And uh, hope to see you back uh, next time. We have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.